What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of the Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice, I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims and survivors of said disorder and of said traits. We're going to add traits from this point forward, y'all, because a lot of people... You might not be a full-blooded narcissist, but you might have a high-level of traits. Today's episode is going to be about how the narcissist is not your teammate. Not your teammate. You're not on the same team. <clears throat> I've done a video previous to this called um, how nar- about, about how narcissists don't want uh, narcissists don't want partners or teammates or cooperation. They want obedience. They want people who are, who are not going to question them. They want people who are going to be undied un questionably loyal to them they want yes men and yes women they want yes people let's say yes people they want yes people if you're going like the narcissist is not on the same team so many people when you get in a relationship with narcissists the people you want you are you are looking for a teammate in life you just absolutely are you look for somebody who's gonna y'all y'all want to be uh, the, the word of today is uh the phrase is power couples and ride or dies and things like that you want that most narcissistic people are not going to be on your team. They don't want to be on your team. They want you to be on their team and be obedient to them. Do what they want you to do. Say what they want you to say. Things like that. Don't question them. Don't bring shame to them. Don't hurt their reputation and things of that nature. They're not your teammates. They just are. They, they just aren't. So me as a narcissist person, I like. I kind of like doing things by myself. I don't like delegating. T- I mean, some narcissists are going to be different, but me personally, I don't like delegating tasks. I like keeping things close to the cuff. I just do. Some of some I, I like being in charge of my things, and you know, this is me. Some of them, some people are going to delegate, and they like being in charge of people. They like running people. They like telling people what to do. It gives them a sense of power. Gives them a sense of control. Everybody's going to be different in the, in the aspect of things. But if you're looking for a teammate, you're dealing with a narcissist. You, this, this just isn't it. A narcissistic person that is not in therapy, that is not working on themselves, is not going to be your teammate. You know, so many people are just like, well, but what if we've been together for X amount of years and they and, and they said they're going to change and they're going to work on themselves and but they don't want to go to therapy. Yeah, people can work on themselves all they want to. But unless you know what the issues are, unless you can dig back into your own mind, into your own psyche, and you possess the tools to work on your inner childhood trauma and things like that, then you can't work on yourself enough. Me personally, my own personal story, I worked on myself for 10 years, 10 years before I sat in the therapist chair and I was still highly as highly narcissistic. So the five years of therapy are way more valuable than the 15 years of personal development, than the Tony Robbins, than the Les Brown, than the Gary Vaynerchuk, all that, Dr. Joe Dispenza, all that. Even though that stuff was invaluable to me, the therapy was more valuable than that all combined. Because that stuff right that therapy is for me. Therapy is a personal development plan for me, personally, for me. Everybody else's stuff is geared towards the general public and people who are just certain types. You know, but that therapy is for me, personal development for me. Can narcissists change? What if, what if they change and want to be on my team then? Therapy. If they're not willing to work on themselves and deal with the the, the shame monster and things like that, then no, you do. This is them, y'all. This is who you are dealing with. This is not a teammate. This is this is the owner of the team. They're not on your team. They're gonna do what they want to do. Me first. I'm going to be self serving. I'm going to serve me first. That's how I am. That's how most narcissistic people are. No, most narcissists, a lot of narcissists are going to be highly driven people, and they're going to be successful. They just are. And sometimes you don't get to the level of success without being self-centered. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if, it, if I'm me first my entire life, I'm going to be me first in business. I'm going to be me first in relationships. I'm going to be me first in every single thing else. Me first emotionally. Me first affection-wise. Me first. Self-serving. They don't need teammates. They need people that are going to be obedient to them. So when the second you give a narcissist some pushback, Things go to hell, don't they? The love bombing phase, the love bombing was intense. But once once the love bombing phase ends and you start giving pushback, you start trying to hold them accountable, you start trying to set boundaries, oh pff, go and counsel Christmas on this relationship because it's going to it's going to hell. I just be trying to keep it real with everybody because this is this is what you have to expect if you're dealing with a narcissistic person. This is this is it. This is not me trying to ram it down your throats, trying to laugh at you or joke at you or anything like that. This is me being truly realistic and letting you know what your future holds when you're dealing with a narcissistic person. It just is. This is not me. Again, I'm not picking on anybody. I, I, I don't do that, y'all. <clears throat> They are not looking for teammates. Even though in the beginning they'll tell you that they might open their mouth and say, "Hello, I'm looking for, I'm looking for a partner. I'm looking for a teammate. I'm looking for somebody that is, that, are, that balances me. I'm looking for the counterpoint of my soul. I'm looking for my soulmate." 
They might be looking for that, but they're gonna try to change you into something that you really don't want to be. That's point blank period in the story right there. This is how this is how it goes. Narcissistic people are not looking for teammates. They just are not, and you are not teammates. I know that's what you that's what you want as an empath, codependent, survivor, whatever. You're looking for a teammate. You're looking for somebody that wants to be on your team. He's like, I want somebody that's going to build me up and help build me up. We're going to build. We're going to build businesses together. We're going to build families together. We're going to do all this together. And they're just like, I want somebody who's going to do that for me. You're going to have my kids. You're going to help me run my business. You're going to do this. Obedience. Obedience. They want to train you. It sounds like, sound like I know, I'm, the terms I'm using and the way I'm talking, it makes it sound like they're trying to train a pet, doesn't it? It's very, very similar to that. They want you They want you to be... They, that's why a lot of times you see a lot, a lot of... A lot of it's what, sometimes you see a lot of narcissist people that not sometimes a lot of people you see some narcissists that love dogs that love animals and things like that because those dogs give them unconditional love and dogs are guess what obedient the dog isn't going to question them they tell that dog to sit down they train that dog that's what they want you to be like you're not a dog you're not an animal but that's what they want you to be like <clears throat> they have ride or dog a lot of narcissists have ride or die dogs or cats or animals or whatever they have for a very long time. They have ride or die animals. They want you to be ride or die, unquestioned loyalty, where you're willing to take a pretty much a, the proverbial bullet for them, the quote unquote the metaphorical bullet for them. Are you willing to do that? And then when they when, they, when you take that bullet for them, expect them to not mourn over your passing. They expect them to move on quickly to someone else. Thank you for your sacrifice. You did your job. Next. They're not, I'm just telling y'all, they are not looking for teammates. They, I'm just like, yeah, Lee, what about you and your wife? Why do y'all keep trying to compare me to y'all? My situation to y'all situation. Ben Taylor's situation to y'all situation. Stop doing that, y'all. Unless that narcissistic person is in therapy, working on themselves for an extended period of time, and actually showing some consistent change behavior, you're not going to get what we, what we are working towards, what we are showing y'all um, by, by doing these videos. We are showing y'all by doing this thing right here. We're not, you're not going to get that. You know what I mean? You just absolutely are not. You just aren't. You're not going to get that. You're not going to do anything. Like, this is it right here, y'all. This is it for you. This is it for y'all. You have to understand that right there. Like, unless they're in therapy working on themselves, you, they, you're not going to have a teammate, y'all. You just aren't. I'm just trying people just like, believe you're so, you're saying it so direct. You're so mean. I'm not being mean. Y'all yeah, know I'm not trying to be mean. I'm the covert narcissist. I'm passive aggressive a lot of times, but sometimes I get active aggressive. I get very, very active aggressive sometimes. You know what I mean? But that's the life, y'all. That's, that's life and how, how you live it. What do you want from life? What do you see yourself in five years? Because uh, like, I don't, me, five years from now, me and my narcissistic partner, we're going to be ruling the world. Okay. 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 Sometimes the delusions of grandeur. You mean, you sound like a narcissist. But, but seriously, y'all, let me stop joking. They don't want teammates. They don't. I was like, as a narcissistic person myself, like I said, I'm not looking for somebody that's going to tell me what. I don't. I, yeah, honestly, I don't like people telling me what to do anyway. I don't, like that's why I'm entrepreneurial life. I don't like having a boss. I don't like having anybody tell me what to do. I don't have I like having any kind of authority figure over me. I just don't like that. So most narcissistic people are going to look at you like that in a relationship. Like you're trying to tell them what to do. So when you try to tell them what to do, they're automatically going to say you're nagging them. They're, all, they're all automatically going to say you're complaining too much. Like, you complain a lot. You're nagging me. You're doing this. You're doing that. Like They're going to say a lot of different things to you to keep you to, to mess with you. They're going to make you feel like you're not doing enough. Because honestly, realistically, there's you can't there's you can't do enough to make a narcissist happy out. You just cannot do that. You can give up. You can give them all your money. You can give them all your time. You can give all them give them all your energy. And guess what? At the end of the day, guess what's going to happen? They're going to wake up and they're going to try to replace you one day. Like the, once the love bombing stops and they feel like you're not doing enough, like you're not doing enough, they're going to try to replace you and they're going to make you feel like you're not doing enough. They're going to tell you you're not doing enough for me because nothing that you ever do can be enough for a narcissist. Nothing that you ever say will be enough for a narcissist. Nothing that you ever, ever do. I'm just I'm just being realistic with y'all. I, I know a lot of people don't want to hear it. I'm just being realistic with y'all to try, try to wake you up. Wake up 2022. And the fact that you, the fact that you yourself right now are getting this information <clears throat> to help you move forward <clears throat> is a blessing. I'm, I don't think people say, I'm not saying I'm, be, I'm being a blessing to you. I'm not saying that I'm a god or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the fact that so many people won't, won't see this video and so many people will see this video and still not take action. And I'm saying, oh yeah, I'm not telling you like the action doesn't mean to leave. 
Whatever you want to do, choose happiness. What does happiness look like for you? Everybody keep coming to my comment section. Well, Lee, how do you get off of your high horse telling people to leave and your wife didn't leave you? Should your wife leave you? <laughs> Should your wife leave you? <laughs> now, what, you repeat what I said. Choose happiness. What does happiness look like for you? Is that person willing to work on herself? If not, then what does happiness look like for you? Do you have to deal with this person? This is them. Look, you think you're better than I am. I don't think I'm better than anybody. But no one else is better than me. You see, that's the difference, the difference between arrogance and confidence right there. But get, gotta get your minds right, y'all. This, this is really, really it, y'all. So, they're not your teammates. They are a team of one. They're, that's why they, they will take all your resources it didn't take all, also take all the credit for doing things. They'll take you, you'll give you a time, effort, energy, resources, money, whatever. And then they'll take all the credit for succeeding. You're not their teammate. They just, they're not looking for partners. They're looking for obedient people. So you want to be a yes person? By all means. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Like I said, live in-person meetup coming to Durham, North Carolina, July 23rd from 3 p.m. until at the Honeysuckle Honeysuckle at Lakewood in Durham, North Carolina. Come out, see me, uh, Ben Taylor, Raw Motivations. Follow him. Uh, download the NARC app, N-A-R-C, the NARC app. If, you need, if you're if you looking for a community of people, download the NARC app. Ben Taylor has an, his own app with a good community on there, N-A-R-C app. Download it. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Mental Illness is out. Peace.